Welcome to the Daily App Show iPhone Edition. Today we're going to take a look at fraction math. For those of you out there that are trying to learn fractions, or perhaps you're in school or you have a younger one that is in school and they're going through the learning of fractions, they can be difficult and even uh, a little bit hard to remember. For myself, it's a little bit of a stretch to remember exactly how to do this because it's not something that we do on a daily basis. So using this app, it'll help refresh everything or help you learn for the first time. So we have a problem right here and it asks, what would you like to do? Well, let's take a look at the tip first. You can always take a look at the tip and as you make moves into completing this problem, new tips come up. All right, so let's go here and let's find the lowest common denominator. So it brings that down and it gives me the ability to adjust this problem right here. Now, if I get lost in between here, uh, I could go, always go and hit the tip. And it says, keep trying if you still cannot hit the tip button again later. Okay, so I'll, I'll try again. And what's going to happen when we get it right is it'll say okay down here at the bottom. So if we're still having problems, we can hit tip and it says, okay, here it is. In this case, the lowest common multiple of 12 and 4 is 12. There we go. So I'll hit OK. It brings that up. All right, so what's 20, 20 plus 12? It's 32. Now what would we like to do? Well, if we're unsure, we can always go and view the tip. So it says you can reduce a fraction if both the denominator and the numerator are even. In this case, they are. So we can start by going by 2. Let's try and reduce this fraction. Let's go by 2. All right. Let's try dividing that. Again. Again and again and that is as reduced as it can get. Let's hit done. Now the result is ready. And it gives us the decimal. And we're done. So now what we can do is we can go and hit new and it'll give us a new problem. We can hit the I for information and we can change some of the settings in here. We can change the theme. We can change how fast the animation happens. The multipliers plus minus multiplication, division, only the same denominators, and then of course some different things allow whole numbers, mixed numbers, negative, and big numbers to make the difficulty a little bit more difficult. So fraction math is a great learning tool for you. If you're having a hard time with your fractions, I think this is a great tool even as a refresher for somebody like me who doesn't do this every day but likes to remember and keep on the top of his math. So definitely check out Fraction Math. This is a great application. Go ahead and get it in the App Store today.